I'm just going to look at the sign, look down, and just mm. what is it? Uh, yep, uh, it's written in uh, really basic handwriting for sale, mm. the Excalibur, 20,000 gold. Uh, and it has uh, an address on it uh, at the back, which leads you back down to the key beside the dry dock. Uh, you will know this as a very dilapidated ship. This is a this is a dilapidated frigate, uh, run out of disrepair. It's got a quite a bad, it's, it's quite a sad story to it as to why it's been under disrepair, and has been as is. But as you look down further, you see the sign's been scraped from thirty five thousand slash down to uh, twenty five thousand slash down to twenty thousand. So it's been. Really... I wouldn't stop at the sign. I'm going to turn it around and say, "Well, you said you have some gold, and you're saying you're looking for a ship. I want to put more with my uh, with my bow and just slap on the sign. The Scalper is a ship. It's a uh, it's it's a bit dilapidated. It does need some work, but you think it may do? Well, that's, uh, not we we have idea. twenty thousand gold. We do indeed have twenty thousand gold. I believe that uh, Daphne has the uh, the the gold liberated from that temple. How on earth are you? What money from what temple? I'm not going to go into the particulars of it. Just understand <laughs> that things happened, and we end up with a pile of gold. Uh, oh. they were, uh, we liberated it from there. They yeah, were, let, yes. let's just announce that in the middle of the street. I'm not <laughs> shouting <laughs> that. I'm That's whispering genius. this to my companion. I'm not shouting this at the top of my lungs. Yeah. I'm I not met people. <laughs> they weren't nice people. They like they kind of killed yeah, me yeah. once. It's it a whole yeah. thing. The kill so, chair. They did, As I yeah. said, let's not get bogged oh. down in the details. And who of killed who? Man. Yeah, let's not get bogged down in who killed who. <laughs> All I know is you said you needed a you needed a ship. There's a well, ship yeah. that needs working up. Working yeah, up. so Janice, you are good at talking. They are desperate. I think we could get this for fifteen thousand gold. I'm willing to give it a try. I mean, we need the ship either way, as as long as they don't bring it up. Maybe try and to bargain some good plan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, let's, I mean, always, you know, he's got, he's good at these. Look at how handsome he is. I'm sure he can sing them a song and persuade them, and I'll slap him on the back and get him. <laughs> How's that everyone's now. persuasion? Oh. Well, you need to meet said people or persons to do the negotiations with. Uh, <laughs> I yes, think true, I'm going to go get dinner and drink a... after that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. wondering we're how good really... anyone's persuasion is, so we might potentially be able to get it. My persuasion isn't great, but my intimidation isn't. I too was bad. about to say, used to have like charisma based characters. <laughs> you should... Mine's plus three, so it's right, okay. I'm going to tell you right now, the bard Mine's... is definitely going to have the best persuasion. Sorry, mate, go ahead. I'll stop over you. Yeah, no worries. I'm, I'm, I'm the same as Rachel. I'm a plus three as well, so we're sitting pretty similar. Really? Yeah. I would have uh... thought yours would have been more. What I'm the a... ass is going on here? I'm a I'm plus four. Are you four. sure it's only plus three for a bard? It should you be more. He may be a dex bard. Oh. I could try and intimidate him. Or, or he <laughs> might have just made a character and then made him a bard rather than thinking of, oh, I've got to get these stats because these are the specific stats I would want. doesn't really matter Gaz if you're is... proficient in it. No, Gaz... I mean, three's perfectly fine. More of a... Yeah, it's more of a just a machine you... of... Are you proficient? Are you proficient? Are you proficient? David, are you proficient? Um, being a bard, I am half... Um, da -da -da, let me just double check. Being a bard, I am half proficient in effectively everything. So... Da -da -da. Actually, yeah, I genuinely forgot that I was not including my proficiency bonus within that as well, because... I've yeah, got that's what I'm saying. So yours will be higher. Proficiency. So what is it total? Uh, do, 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 do. It's a... What's my proficiency again? Sorry, disappeared for a second. Plus one on that, so it's a four total. Oh. Well, I could always try and give you advantage when we went and did it. Anyway, let's get some food. <laughs> let's get some grub in our tummies. Can... Oh, dear. Yeah. So, with that, uh, you head further on. Are you still taking them to your parents? Uh, we could go up here and get some 
free free grub, or we can go back to that that dock and get paper paid to put. Hey, why don't we? Oh, go we to get the the it always tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> Calories <laughs> don't count. Do you want to check in with I'm your I'm sure parents? your parents have been missing you. Let's go and get a meal off them. Uh, <laughs> they're all dead. Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh, well, you know, the way, said that. Yeah, the way Rach goes, she likes killing characters, so you never know. <laughs> sure. Walk oh, in. Hi, Ronan's parents. Stop. You never know if I'm serious or not. I'll be the, it will be the Futurama thing says, I, I don't have a great grandson. You do now. <laughs> I, if they're dead, don't worry. I'll bring them back so they can cook for us. So, uh, <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> So, as Ronan's leading you up through, he starts leading you further up into the hills, past some of the forests. If you remember from last time we were talking, uh, this is only only one of the few places that has land to grow trees for the purposes of shipbuilding. Um, as he starts to lead you through, uh, where your passive perception 50 doesn't matter anyway, Ronan, uh, you start to walk up past uh, the manor as you start to see it. Um, oddly quiet, very quiet, as you start to kind of Right, okay, I'll just walk past, uh, head down. You're not yeah. you're not hiding it too well, but uh, it's 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 obviously noticeable as the fact as you yeah. kinda of pull the head you pull see, the head or the hood yeah, open yeah, and start I, to walk past. I put, I put my kilt over my head, but not the bottom half the top half. Yeah. My eyes mind I see that I'm wearing the long the long great kilt, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. long yeah. this. The wrappy round one. Um, yeah, so as you're <laughs> as you're walking up as you're walking up and fast, you it's, you make it obvious the fact you're trying to hide yourself as you start yeah. to walk uh, and start to veer off that path uh, from the manor as you start to go up towards kinda of up to the, the closest bit says as you come out the the past where the forest where the manor is situated, come into roving fields, absolutely beautiful greens and yellows. It seems like an autumn kind of feel, although it's high summer. Uh, very few trees about, but they're dotted with apples and all these types of fruits. Uh, some of them are even growing crops uh, on the, some of the fields. Uh, very, very, very dilapidated farmhouses as they are, but it seems to be, which is quite strange. It's kind of a, the, the opposite effect. It's very, very, it breaks the immersion, so to speak, of this beautiful landscape where you've got these dilapidated stone houses. Come up to a particular one, there's this beautiful uh almost bungalow type of stone built houses with a big thatched uh roof smoke coming out the chimney uh even just looking at it feels incredibly warm just to be within its vicinity and this happens to be the home of uh ronan's parents i don't like home i'm gonna start to like eight down the open it i'm just gonna walk just walk in you just walking in yeah <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or is there anybody <laughs> sort of uh, floating about or sort of anything? Um, as, as you walk in, so as, uh, if everyone else follows in with them, I mean, I mean, in the, like, like, not in the house itself, it's like uh, would there be a gate with a path leading up to the house? Or? Yeah, uh, like I say, there is, kind of wooden, there is wooden gates and the wooden fences around with a couple of, yeah. uh, there's a little garden in there because you know, you'll know yourself, your mother likes to grow a lot of kind of herbs. Mm. Uh, for for purposes of cooking, mm. um. So as you go in and you walk down the path, uh, you come up to the door. What do you do? So I sort of compose myself and give a big knock. Okay. Uh, Are we supposed to look door. smart? No. Sorry. I think that's long since passed for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> we can uh, try our best. So as a. Uh, Knock again in the second time. It's hold your horses. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's just uh, you feel it's a, an old, an older woman's voice as she starts to come up to the door, and she right, right. Listen, I've no got the money the day, and she looks straight at you and just breaks tears down the face. Oh. Just oh. hugs you like says, Ronan, Ronan, where have you been? Ronan, my boy, my boy, and she just kisses you and just oh, yeah. just holds you as tight forever. It feels like a lifetime. I, I been... hold her a bit, then I sort of push her back because you know where I've been, Mum. You know who I've what been trying to do. I bloody told you, you shouldn't have went down there on your own. I know, Mum, but I need to. 
I always and knew that lassie I, was trouble. I knew she was trouble. I knew she would take you away from me. Well, I'm here now. Thanks, yeah, Tears. We saved them. Hello, and, and Ronan's and mother. And, <laughs> and, and I turned around and I had to start to teach them to, to everybody. For oh, the second time this episode, introduce every single person again. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the purpose of oh, morning, I didn't know you had company and friends, and she starts yeah. to pull it in. Her well, hair is very, very grey. It's very, it's put up into a bun. She starts to undo it again, then put it back up there, almost nervously. She's got a. It's fine. You look great. She's got an apron on as well, uh, which is uh, curiously the same colour tartan as the long cloak that yeah. uh, Rowan is wearing. Mm. Uh, just a very baggy white shirt, and she's. Like I say, got a, got a skirt that goes down almost to her ankles, wearing boots. Um, Grey eyes, very much crow's feet around her eyes and kind of unslept, unkempt, unslept. Um, she's clearly in the middle of doing something, housework, possibly cooking. And you can, as the door opens a little bit more, Ronan, you, the unmistakable smell of home-cooked food just, it just <laughs> wafts. And you know this is going to be good because it's... It is certainly Stu, it's one of your favourites. Yes. So it's uh, a case of... I would smell it, so I, I'd love to put it to you right now. And I was <sighs> going to tell her, like, um, these are my friends. They literally saved me. You saved, my boy, you saved my boy's life. I told you it was... And she pulls off this, uh, what seems to be like a dish towel, and bang, and just hits you across the face. I we told we you. actually I told saved the <laughs> oh, oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. Oh, I'm no, gonna well, listen, I'm, listen. I'm just gonna cut and she's oh. doing this and go listen. In his defense, he has saved our lives down there as well. We would not be here if it was not for your son. Oh of oh, course, yeah. he's just he's just a good boy. I've always had him and he just grabs your cheek and kinda of sort of pinches it. <laughs> right, right, okay, well <laughs> should you not be hiding anyway, Ronan? I mean you are you're, you're quite close. I know I'm close and uh... All right, right, well come in then, come in and she moves in and she moves through the door. <laughs> To, to just usher you all in. So as you walk in, uh, compared to the outside of the house, this is immaculate. This is spotless. The 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 wood is so the wood on the floor. This proper wood that is it's treated, it's varnished. It looks spotless. As you walk in, you've got a kind of almost like a red rug in the middle. You don't know what this is from or what type of animal this is, but it's an animal red rug sitting in the middle. Herf, um, the the herf of a fire, uh, in the in the middle of the middle room. There's a couple of chairs and tables, very immaculate. They they're not obviously used to what you're you're seeing in, like some mansions and stuff. But it does, it makes do. Then you got the big pot just over the fire, which has got the 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 aromatic smell of different herbs and spices and meats, obviously from a stew. You can tell that. And there's a the pot next to it where she's been obviously peeling potatoes just to add to the thing. And then obviously there's other rooms in the back that lead into the likes of a bedroom and another bedroom. So she says, all right, come in, come in. Sit down, sit down. Listen, have you, are you hungry? Have you, have, you, have you been eating? You look as if you know that you've lost a lot of weight there, Ronan. Come on, tell me. What do you need? What do you need? And she goes over and oh, starts to split some potatoes and put them in and says... I don't think I've got enough for you all, but listen, I can, I'm sure I can find some more potatoes. It'll be fine. And she goes in and starts peeling more potatoes as she's sitting down. I just don't know. I'm just going to ask Mum, how long has Dylan been looking to sell that ship? Oh, you know Dylan's been trying to sell that for years, son. It's just, <laughs> it's, he's getting worse. It's just really, really bad. He's, um, his mind's starting to go on, and, and God bless him. I mean, the God's the gods have no fucking faith on him, I'll tell you. He's, he's, he's obviously done something troubling in his life. I mean, his, his luck has never his luck has never been any better ever since. You would have thought that you would have thought that it would have maybe got a little bit better and been a little bit more lenient. As she starts peeling potatoes and says, um, "Unfortunately, I don't have any. I don't have many bowls. So if I to share your stew, if to share the stew, I'm not even sure I can feed well, I have you well." Bowl. I I so bowl. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and I'll just like pull out a rock and start eating a rock. <laughs> well, it, well, it, well, uh, well, it looks like your father's going to be without a stew if that's the case. But I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, we'll, we'll, pay, fine guys, we'll uh, make sure you have money to buy to resupply yourself. Don't you worry. I wouldn't want to put you out. I've got plenty of trail rations. 
questions. They'll get something. As soon as, as soon as you say that, she pulls off the uh, the dish towel off her shoulder again. No, and hits you on the side. He says, "No, you're in Ow. my home. Yeah, you're in my home. You'll be eating fine. I tr- now trust me. It's the way we live here. You'll you'll take some stew, get some meat in your bones, and puts it over again and starts cutting some. I, uh, it's now the right time to tell you I'm a vegetarian. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> Oh, we don't have. Don't worry about that. I can probably give you a couple of potatoes extra. Night <laughs> <laughs> of well, help. I'm just telling you, um, from, there's some leaves and lettuce outside. So... Oh yeah, there's plenty of them. Don't worry. Well, I'll add, mm-hmm. I'll add some spice. It'll make it look taste as if it's a stew. No bother. And she starts cutting well, away the potatoes just gets again. The corn out. Puts the corn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you old oh, just... corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway, yeah. So Ronan, I'm obviously gonna. Uh, did you get on? Did you do well? Did you find her? No, I didn't. I'm going to take the satchel and open the satchel and just like, like I only found these. Oh, sorry. and a and, and a high, high yeah. say, nest. Oh, that must have been horrible. Did you, did you get away? I mean, again, did she pulls off the and starts hitting you again? Says you shouldn't have went off yourself. I told you. I told you you shouldn't have done that. You just left my, it. I wasn't myself. I know what love. I know to what love be, can be fair, like son. I was high when they all decided to jump into that trap. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know what love Ronan can gave be me like. Drugs. Love is a glorious. Yeah, I know love can be Your glorious and all that. Gave me drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how you're running. Is this way? This is where you're running. Um. She, uh, again, she says, I know love can be funny and all that, but listen, you, I knew she wasn't right for you all that time, and there was just something off about her. You always say that, but she's always been the one. But this time I was right, clearly, and she starts peeling away again. Gaz will ask um, Ronan's mum, uh, can I help you at all with the, the cooking? Um... No, no, you're fine. You just take a you take a load off and sit down. You've obviously been helping my boy. So you you sit there. I will get the stew. The stew's almost ready anyway. And then she okay. starts putting some more potatoes in. Uh, right. Well, I was going to, I was going to do the, the sweeping up, but I, I suppose I can can talk to you and make sure and find out a little bit more about your adventures. Uh, so do you want a cup of tea? As she starts to go over to where there's the, yeah. the steel kind of kettle, yeah. and she's. I you might need a base of. Uh... You play to stay for a wee while, a few days maybe. I would like to go to put your mother out. I would, I'll stay in the inn. There's no one that's made for total physiology. Nonsense! As she pulls the tea towel <laughs> and she says, "You'll stay. It's fine. It's hospitality here. This is all. This is, you're on the island of a kiss now. You know where you're. Well, I, I don't even know where you're from. Okay. Sorry, I, I, well, my manners. I heard mm. they were kind of came from the flots of miles. Oh, well, you know, don't, don't worry about them, you're fine. Listen, why are you asking about Dusan's uh, ship anyway? It's just... It's, uh, if I want to, after a few days, we've got, we've got a little thing I want to help my friend Ralph with. It's because he saved my life with these guys here. He's looking for eggs that some toffs have been uh, selling. Hmm. Has eggs, his children. Uh, actually, you might be the best person to ask about this. Um, you've been here for a while. We noticed while we were down in the in the market, if you will, um, a total egg was being sold by someone, an older man. Um, have you noticed um, at any time recently... Hmm. Eggs, large eggs being sold down in the market. It would be, it wouldn't be common. It wouldn't be like a regular egg. This is going to be, it would stand out. Hmm. Eggs, oh, well, it's, it's been a while since I've been down at the market anyway, for sure, because we all have, well, ever, ever, when you're up this high, we always grow our own, uh, make sure we've got our own foods. That would be like, but I've not been down to the market for a while. That's unfortunate. But who'd you say? Uh, do, you, do you have a description of them? I would absolutely have a description of him due to my keen mind. Even yeah, if I, of course, you do. So you will give an up. You will give a totally uh, 
legit description you because he's a fucking Because he's a bardic mind. Draws it. Because <laughs> he's a keen mind. No, that's different. He can describe it. And I he, was going to say... Picture. Whether or not he can draw it or not is another matter. But he's half proficient in everything. <laughs> yeah. So as so, you... Uh, okay. Yeah, so as uh, she goes, as describe it, oh, oh, him, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want nothing him, he's all trouble, he's, for every time he comes in here, he's always trying to panhandle and pawn off whatever fucking shit you can get, you don't want, you don't want any of that shit. Oh no, absolutely not, he'll be no friend of ours, but just so we can make sure, where would we be able to find him if we did need to? Oh, uh, well, you would probably find him down in the market. He's, he's usually just hanging about there. He always moves his stall, just, you know, because he doesn't want to get caught up in the law. So but the, you know, the marketplace would probably be the best place to get him. Uh, so that's a tea ready tea, dear. Looking at you, Sir Janice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'll never say no to a good cup of tea. So, yeah, so as she starts pouring tea, um, some of you are handed cups full of tea, some of you are handed ladles, some of you are handed just whatever, whatever's ever at hand uh, have for the tea. Mug, I can use it. Yeah. I mean... Oh, bless you, son. There is, she, she pours the tea in, and anyone who takes to, wants to take the tea, this is, oh, this has been on the boil for a while. I mean, this is, the tea has been steeped. This is jasmine. There's jasmine in this. Hmm. There is a little bit of honeysuckle. There is a little bit of cumin as well, for some reason. And yet, it is the most <laughs> glorious sense, taste, sensation you've ever had. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, for the purposes of this, she also gives you stew. The stew is ready. Uh, for purposes of this point, uh, you are given um, an extra 1d10 hit points um, added on to your... It's basically temporary hit points. You're given 1d10 temporary hit points if you'd like to roll for that. Hell uh, yeah! For a, for a good family, very good, wholesome, home-cooked meal. I'll say, um, Ronan, can we, br can we bring your mum with us? Oh, oh, you're a flatterer, dear, but I'm way too old. <laughs> She's sitting there and uh, she starts to clean up everything and starts to get all the dishes away, so to speak. After so, um... one he, um, Sir Janice, is just going to start singing an orcish. Ronan's mum has good tea going on. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone who understands orcish, will understand that completely for sure. Uh, uh, this is the best bard in the world. He hmm. says so himself. Oh, you're hanging about with bards. Oh, no. I've told you about <laughs> bards as well, son. You need to be careful. But I'm sure this man is very, very, very reputable. You are incredibly kind, my dear. You're incredibly kind. Uh, you're a flatterer, indeed, for sure. So, but um, so um, I'm assuming you. Uh, as she looks to your own and goes, I'm assuming you've pa uh, you passed the manor, then, aye? Yeah. And how did that go? Did you beat them? I didn't meet them. I just uh, walked on by. But she could not look at them. Just... Grabs you, grabs again the tea till and whacks you again and says, you know better than that. We always finish what we started. You started this and it's finished now, I'm assuming. So you need to go up there and tell them for sure. Tell them what? That I haven't found their daughter? She hits, you, hits you again and says, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They've still lost a daughter. You may have lost your love, but they have lost their daughter. Okay? Well... You go up there first thing in the morning and you go and tell them, right? Yes, mum. <laughs> I go to the floor. Yes, mum. Is this all it's right. taken for you to abandon your quest? Like, we're allowed to drag you in front of your mum. Like, right <laughs> we're, we're telling on you. <laughs> uh, so, um. She's got a mean throw, I mean. Remember the kid running out the the field, over the over the the fence into the the forest to get lamped with a shoe. Like <laughs> five hundred yards with a shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Homing. <laughs> it just goes down. Um. So after the conversation, uh, a little bit more conversation goes on. She starts. Yeah. Doing what our usual mothers do, and they talk about their son. They talk about, oh, mm -hmm. I remember back, Maddie. Uh, 
you will know, well, you'll, you'll obviously know this Ronan already. Uh, her name is Melanie, uh, and she is the mother of Ronan. Uh, she talks about um, the history of the island, about how the fact that it's the only place that uh, grows its own trees, really is the only place it really makes its own ships and is usually used as a ship docking year, area. Mm. And only recently, um, maybe about five, six years in now, has been able to start producing its own crops and growing its own food because the land seems to be more fertile for that purpose now. And she goes on about the, the, the recipe of a stew and all this stuff, all this kind of homely stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. So you've got a, you, you have a, uh, anyone who wishes to take it down, you will have the recipe for this stew. It may or may not come in handy. I am proficient in cooking utensils and cooking, so I will definitely <laughs> write this down. And, yeah, for sure. And, and and make it every night and stare at Ralph going, enjoy your leaf. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will accept that and be happy that my friend is getting a delicious meal. <laughs> and 10 Yeah. <laughs> I never said that. It depends on how well you cook it. Uh, this uh, this <laughs> is another mechanic. Of, <laughs> this is another mechanic of the say to add a wee bit, and if you want to do that kind of thing. So this recipe in particular will possibly get you anywhere between one d ten and one d four temporary hit points, depending on how well it's prepared. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Ronan's wash stew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because it's really good food, and if you can get the proper ingredients to make it, then yes, you will. I can imagine the, the ingredients aren't easy to get. Well, that is a, that is a good point. Uh, some meats you can use any meats usually. She does turn around and say, "Ah, it just depends on what we get down in the market for the kind of meats." But mm. it's usually the kind of herbs and the vegetables that are that that, that kind of make the the flavour of the. I... I'm just writing this down because uh, Ronan seems to be sticking ways and you know what a home cooked meal's like. Oh, you're a good boy, you. As she <laughs> kind of pats you on the shoulder. That's <laughs> <laughs> two NPCs that seem to like Ronan. <laughs> seem to like Melgrim now. Oh, God. What have we done? You, shoes. You see, it's you, it's you fuckers that are watching I'm fucking standing for Melgrim. <laughs> Anyhow, so. As that's going on, um, yeah, like to say, you've already asked uh, David about uh, trying to find out more about this guy. So, uh, and she says, ah, you don't want to be going around near him. I mean, he's, he's a dodgy, he's a kind of dodgy guy. He's, but he's one of them, what would you call them? He works with, uh, you know, you know, the hang, the hang, Ronan, the hang. The, the, the hang. The uh, hang. Aye, the what? hang. The, what do you call them? The Cauldron. She he, the, he works with that Cauldron group. You know, they're the nasty group, the Cauldron. Cauldron? Is that those gangs? Aye. Uh, the, the Cauldron. The Cauldron. Aye, aye, the Cauldron. It's 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 kind of like a gang. Wait, did they have a tattoo? Uh, no, it's, no, they've got that wee pin, though. You know, the wee pin with the... the, the you Ooh, usually would tell this me. be the, the one know. that the captain had? That's a deep pull if it did, mate. <laughs> but uh, hi, uh, like you don't want to be hanging around with them. That's uh, they're 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 no good. You just keep away from them, Ronan, and pulls off the tea till and hits you again. You keep away from them, Lord, <laughs> yeah. right? I don't you don't care what you do. But you keep away from them. Uh, where is this gang the Cauldron base? So we make sure we don't accidentally stumble upon it. <laughs> 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 uh, she, she goes over to you, Ralph. And oh, goes, that's the best. Yeah, she goes over to you, Ralph, and goes, If I knew that, son, I'd be fucking rich. <laughs> All right, but is, is, perhaps it, is there a bar that they frequent so we can make sure that we don't immediately go there after we leave here? Oh, it, it doesn't matter. All you need to do, and you need to look out for them. I keep telling my son, I keep telling you, always look out for the peeny, the wee peen. You watch it for the <laughs> peen. Watch out for that peen. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh... Right, so and the pin looks like uh, it's it's something they wear it's on the it's a wee, yeah. It's a wee, it's a wee pin on the lapel, aye. Right? It's a wee, it's a wee, uh, it's a wee kind of silvery like cauldron with a little spoon in the middle. It's uh, well, not in the middle. It kind of hangs out like that, and it's right, uh, the so like a, a cauldron. Like a 